Hey guys, I'm here in Asakusa, Japan. You can see the Tokyo sky tree right behind me. It's cloudy and it's rainy, but we're gonna be checking out this amazing fish tour that I just found. And they've got some amazing fish, so stay tuned. Let's go and check it out. So this is it right here. It's called Aqua Field. Just a few minutes away from the Tokyo sky tree. You can see it's very green. It's a lot of plants, some goldfish. Um, you've got some tubs here with some rice fish. And then you have some plants, water hyacinth. Look at this bowl right here. There's some little rice fish in there. And you can see there's no filter, no air pumps. That's how they do it in Japan. Then some plants, some driftwoods here. Look at the selection. And there's even more inside. So there's some uh, rice fish food, Japanese rice fish. It's one of the most common aquarium fish in Japan. Let's go inside. So inside, you're welcomed with this nice display tank. Very green. Look at this wall behind. And you can see water trickling down. All the ferns, all the mosses. Pretty beautiful. And then inside, sorry about the glare, but see what fish they have. I'm not so sure what these fish are called, but they're pretty nice. And then, so which way should we go? Should we go left? Or should we go right? I think we'll go right. So you can see that there's a lot of plants. Some angel fish up there. And the, in the middle section... Wow, what fish is this? I don't think I've ever seen one of this in real life before. But it's together with guppies. Um, what else is there? whole bunch of female guppies here. You can look at this. I think there's some tube effects worms in there. That's really cool. It's a tube effects worm cup, which the fish will eat out of. And then down below, there's some, I think, low light plants like java ferns and you see a whole bunch of white cloud minnows in there. So I've seen this before. This is very common in Singapore. You put your two effects worms in there and the fish will eat out of the little holes. But the one up here is pretty cool. It's held by a magnet. That's nice. And then over here, there's some spotted silver dollars, I think. And there's some little Oscars in there as well. And then down here, I'm not so sure what this fish is. So if you know, definitely comment it down below. And uh, yeah, I love how there's so many plants in the tanks. There's some plants in containers and in bags and there will be more throughout the store. So on this side here, there's this huge glass wall or something. I'm not so sure what it is, but the owner says he's going to be filling it up with plants, putting plants on the, the walls. So this thing will be all green and I can't wait to see what it will look like in a few months. And I'll put their Instagram down down in the comments and the description below so you can check it out but uh yeah there's some equipment here for aquascaping there's, this is the counter and there's a section over here with fish foods and um, water conditioners and then over here there's some hides for reptiles some feeding dishes for your turtles or geckos or whatever you can see this whole wall of it and uh, let's take a look back there because over there there's some really cool fish. So first right here there's this bedduck section and there's some really nice bedduck here. Check this out. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then this one right here. Look at the colors. That's like the perfect color flag of Japan. White and red. Let's go and take a look over here. You see neon tetras, a uh, bunch of tetras, black neon tetras. And up above we have a tank with some larger tetras, which are really nice. And there's a nice, a good size Oscar right there. Look at that red dot on its tail. And then down below, there's some really nice guppies. Look at all the colors. 
And then at the very bottom, there's some driftwood, which you can buy. Let's move on to this section right here. Look at this Oscar. That's a bigger Oscar with a green terra cichlid. And this tank I really like a lot. It looks very natural, very simple. And there's a bag full of cardinal tetras right there. Probably just arrived. And this is another tank I really like. Just look at how simple it is. There's sand or gravel and some rocks. And then there's a whole bunch of Corydoras. And then below there's this one special fish. Look how long this is. This is a lungfish. Super long. Oh, okay, let's move on here. There's some really nice small tanks over here. Let's take a look at a few of them. Some beautiful cardinal tetras. Just look at how bright they are. They're amazing. That's why they're one of my favorite little fish to keep and then here there's another oscar there's quite a lot of oscars here check this out there's a rope fish a rope fish and then there's some biters in here really nice looking biters some larger ones down there and then at the bottom you've got a few tanks with lungfish in them and i've been told that this lungfish He's in a weird position right now, but this one right here is pretty unique because he doesn't have any patterns. Usually lungfish will have patterns like this guy, but that guy doesn't have any, so he's pretty unique. Is that a puffer? Wow, look at that. There's some puffers. I think they're the Congo puffers. So yeah, there's a bunch of simple tanks, snakeheads. You'll see later that there's a lot of snakeheads in this store. The owner loves snakeheads and he says they're selling really well, so that's really good. Check this out. These are some of your larger vitres. They're probably the size of my hand or more. This one is definitely longer than my hand. It's really cool. And then here you've got a section with, look at that, wood, uh, siphons to clean your aquarium. You've got driftwood hanging from the ceiling. Now let's move on over there. So over here, look at this, you've got a big tank here. I think this is at least a four foot tank. I'm not so sure what this fish is called. And then what are in these tanks? Turtles. There's some turtles in there. Wow, so that's so cool. I was looking for the turtle in this tank and then I finally found it and I realized that this is it. It doesn't look like a turtle but you can see its head is super flat. I think it's called the Mata Mata or something like that. I'm not so sure. That's a really cool turtle. This here is a relative of the Marble Gobi and it will grow pretty big. It's really cool that you see this here because these kinds of fish you don't see in other fish stores. Really unique. And then fish that are from Japan, native to Japan, are located in this section, I've been told. And look at these loaches, they're really amazing. And look at all the plants. Let's move on to this section here. A bunch of snails, you can see. I have no idea what this fish is. It says in Japanese, but I don't know what you call them in English. Wow, take a look at that. Is that a clam? And down here... Oh, wow. Albino snakeheads. That is really neat. A few of them. Here's a large one. Platinum snakehead. That is really cool. Over here there are some cherry shrimp as well as some crystal shrimp. And 
and then there's some smaller fish some smaller fish around this here is one of my favorites the five banded barb look how amazing they look this would look so nice in a Fanta tank and then there's some fish here um, I, th I think this is an albino cherry barb I'm not so sure I've never seen this before and oh, what type of gurami is that right above there are some snake heads you can see a few snake heads in bags probably just arrived there's one here and over here I've never seen this before I've never seen this in Singapore as well this is a snake head gudgeon really cool unique looking and check this tank out bunch of little fish love the stripes on those fish there's a black water tank right here and then after that we're back here this is middle section with fish food um, a lot of fish food here's the packing station and then over here now we come to the goldfish section uh, a whole bunch of different types of goldfish and in the tubs below there are some rice fish, Japanese rice fish, and they're a little bit low on stock. The owner told me that he just sold off quite a, a good amount. And check out this goldfish right here. This guy is really beautiful. Some of these goldfish are really nice looking. And if we look on this side, there's some ornaments here. Uh, if you're not into live plants, I don't know why you wouldn't be into live plants, but you can get some fake ones some decorations this I love this a lot look at this you connect this to a air pump and the bubbles will come out like that take a look at this naked it's just resting in the Java fern oh here it comes and if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up also hit the red subscribe button down below if you're new to this channel follow their Instagram page aquafield and I'll see you next time.